The hearing is now called to order, and we have a lot of uh, friends and guests uh, uh, here with us. So let me direct the comset to acknowledge all our resource persons. Good evening, Mr. Chair. Good afternoon, everyone. For our public hearing on various local bills regarding separation and conversion of schools, may we recognize our resource person guests from the uh, from the House of Representatives. We have Rep. Alan Jesse C. Mangawang from the Lone District of Kalinga. We have Deputy Speaker Wesley Gachalian from the First District of Valenzuela City. We have Deputy Speaker Evelina G. Escudero from the First District of Sorsogon. We have Rep. Vincent Franco Duke Frasco from the 5th District of Cebu. We also have Rep. Manuel Jose Manix M. Delipe, 2nd District of Sambuanga City. Rep. Joel Mayo D. Almario from the 2nd District of Davao Oriental. Rep. Jose Ping Ping I. Tejada from the 3rd District of North Cotabato. And Rep. Arnie B. Fuentebella from the 4th District of Camarina Sur. From the executive agencies, the Department of Education Central Office is represented by Dr. Wilfred Cabral, Regional Director of NCR and OIC of the Office of the Undersecretary of Human Resource and Organizational Development. We also have the CAR Regional Director, Dr. Estela L. Carino, with Mr. Maxim Botilas, OIC of the Quality Assurance Division. From the Schools Division Office of Kalinga, we have Mr. Bernardo L. Ganutise, Jr., Chief Education Supervisor. From the Schools Division Office of Valenzuela City, we have Dr. Rustica R. Lorenzo, OIC Assistant Schools Division Superintendent. From the Re Region 5 Regional Office, we have the OIC Re Assistant Regional Director, Mr. Ronello Al K. Fermo, and Mr. Roy T. Banas, Chief Education Supervisor, Policy Planning and Research Division. From the Schools Division Office of Sorsogon City, we have the Schools Division Superintendent, Dr. William E. Gando, together with the School Principal of San Lorenzo Integrated National School, Ms. Rosie D. Janela. The Schools Division Office of Camarines Sur is represented by Assistant Schools Division Superintendent, Mr. Sueño S. Luzada, Jr. Region 7 of DepEd, we have the Regional Director, Dr. Celestiano T. Jimenez. From the Region 9, we also have the OIC Regional Director, Dr. Ruth L. Fuentes. From the Schools Division Office of Sambuanga City, we have the OIC Schools Division Superintendent, Dr. Roy C. Tubalia, and Dr. Rosalio Contorno, Jr. From the Region 11 Office, we have the Regional Director, Dr. Alan G. Fernazo, together with Mr. Janilito S. Atilio, Chief of Quality Assurance Division. The Schools Division Superintendent of Mati City, we have Dr. Alona C. Uri. From the OIC Regional Director of Region 12, we have Dr. Carlito D. Rocafort. The Schools Division Office of Cotabato is represented by Dr. Roberto A. J. Montero, Assistant Schools Division Superintendent. We also have Mr. George P. Fulhensio, Malinao High School School Head, and Ms. Christina Calva, Pinamulaan High School School Head. From the local chief executives, we have the we have Mayor Maria Esperanza Cristina G. Frasco of Liloan, Cebu. The office of the municipal of the mayor of Zamboanga City is represented by environmental planner Jesse Christopher B. Lapinid. And last but not the least, we have the mayor of Goa, Camarines Sur, Mayor Marcel Espan. Thank you, Mr. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you, Committee Secretary. Thank you, Comsec. Uh, today we have um, 12 bills uh, for discussion, um, 10 bills on separation of schools, and then two bills on conversion of schools. And we have furnished you a copy of the agenda, so we will just go through the different bills from top to bottom. So um, those bills that we have already approved and tackled, uh, the uh, respective uh, resource persons can stay or they can uh, uh, they can uh, leave the um, hearing um, and then as a matter of uh, procedure uh, we will request the sponsoring uh, congressman or sponsoring legislator to 
give a brief sponsoring um, message, and then we will request the regional director who we uh, requested to join us to uh, certify on the completeness of the documents. And then after that, we have a representative from DepEd, represented by uh, by uh, Yusek Cabral, to certify on behalf of the national uh, DepEd the, the uh, uh, certification of completeness. So, oh, ano so, um, those, that will be the um, uh, uh, the procedure for today. Uh, so uh, so that we will not take up so much of your time, you can uh, join us later on when your bill is already on hand, and uh, you can um, uh, you have the option to uh, stay with us, or you can leave after approving your uh, your uh, proposal. So with that, uh, and before we continue, let me acknowledge the presence of Senator Aimee, who is also one of the sponsoring uh, legislator. Uh, for today. So with that, uh, we'll start off with House Bill number uh, 586. And let me just uh, read the title so that it will be reflected uh, in the records. An act separating the Balbalan Agricultural and Industrial School, Balbalan Proper Extension in Barangay Balbalan proper, municipality of Balbalan, province of Kalinga, from the Balbalan Agricultural and Industrial School, converting it into an independent national high school to be known as the Eastern Balbalan National High School and appropriating funds, therefore. And then there's also uh, mm. a counterpart bill here in the Senate. It's SBN 1601 an act separating the Balbalan Agricultural and Industrial High School Balbalan Proper Extension in Barangay Balbalan Proper, Municipality of Balbalan, Province of Kalinga, from the Balbalan Agricultural and Industrial School, converting it into an independent national high school to be known as Eastern Balbalan National High School and appropriating funds there for. And this is... Um, uh, sponsored by or authored by Senator Amy Marcos. So we uh, call on uh, Congressman Allen Jesse Mangawang for his uh, uh, sponsorship uh, message. And then after that, we'll call on the regional director and then DepEd National. Yes, uh, thank you so much, uh, Honorable Chairman, uh, Senator uh, Win Gatsalian and the honorable members of the same Senate Committee on Education, uh, Senator uh, Madam Aimee, for uh, sponsoring the counterpart uh, Senate bill. Uh, salamat unay, Senator Aimee. And uh, members of the DepEd family, as well as other uh, resource persons, good afternoon. House Bill 5866 to separate the Balbalan Agricultural and Industrial School, Balbalan Proper Extension in Barangay, Balbalan Proper, Municipality of Balbalan, Province of Kalinga from its mother school, the Balbalan Agricultural and Industrial School, and convert it into a separate and independent national high school to be known as the Eastern Balbalan National High School. The BAIS Balbalan Proper Extension was opened in 2010 to cater to 22 high school freshmen from Barangay Balbalan Proper and another Barangay Maling in the municipality of Balbalan. At present, the extension school is now catering to grade 7 to 10 with more than 150 students coming from two barangays in the municipality of Balbalan and another three barangays from the adjoining municipality of Pasil in the province of Kalinga. With the conversion of this Baris Balbalan Proper Extension into an independent national high school, the capability of the school as a catalyst of change will be boosted. It will have its own budget and necessary workforce to continue developing and enhancing the knowledge and skills of its growing clientele with more enlightened citizenry, the hope for a more peaceful and prosperous community becomes more of a reality. 
at present, the stuff that is being used for this extension school comes from four comes from its mother barangay, and another two coming from the regular national high school, which is uh, near uh, the municipality of Balbalan. That's why, uh, Mr. Chair, uh, the approval of this uh, uh, bill is earnestly requested so that uh, the realization of uh, uh, the needs in terms of education of this particular uh, part of uh, Alinga in the province uh, of uh, in the municipality of Balbalan will be uh, realized, uh, Mr. Chair. That, there, there, I, I, I earnestly ask for the approval of uh, this bill, uh, Mr. Chair. Thank you so much and uh, good afternoon to uh, everybody. Thank you, thank you, Kong. Kong, I just have a, some some basic questions. Uh, how far is this uh, this uh, annex school or this uh, school that will be separated from the main school? Uh, uh, it's six kilometers from uh, its main school, uh, Mr. Chair. Malayo, huh? main, that's far. Yeah, yeah, that's far. Uh, and considering that it's a uh, highly mountainous, uh, uh, rugged terrain, ang uh, at uh, terrain niya, Mr. Chair, uh, there is really a need for us to establish uh, uh, a new uh, school within the vicinity. For for this new school, how many students are already enrolled in this uh, in, the, in the new school? In the new school, uh, at this present, one, uh, Mr. Chair, the more than 100 I think 150, 157 ang uh, naka-enroll ngayon, Mr. Chair. That would cater to Grade seven to ten, Mr. Chair. All right. And this this new uh, this is an annex already, tiba, uh, Congress Congressman. Yes, it's a, yeah. Yes, and Mr. This, Chair. It started in the annex was started in 2010. Uh, we as an extension school, uh, catering to 22 freshmen. And this is the you established this school, this uh, extension school. You, yes, you Mr. Chair. Yeah. yeah, when I was still mayor, we we requested DepEd to uh, of this town, Balbalan. We requested DepEd to come up with a separate uh, extension school to cater to the needs of uh, the two barangays within Balbalan municipality. Thus, we have 22 new enrollees at that time, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Thank you, Kong, Kong Allen. Uh, yeah, we now so uh, call on Regional Director Dr. Estela Carino. Ma'am? Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Chair. Good afternoon to all the honorable members of the Congress. Good afternoon to our Congressman, Congressman Jesse Mangawang. So as mentioned by Congressman Jesse, the uh, school being asked to be separated existed already since 2010 and uh, it has already some students so it is complete from grade 7 to 10. Uh, actually uh, it was using makeshift classrooms but uh, through the initiative of our very good congressman there is already a new building a four classroom building concrete uh, which is uh, complete it's just for it to be turned over to the Department of Education. So uh, the teachers there, uh, six are permanent. Uh, one is acting as TIC. And um, since uh, some of these teachers are coming from the main, which means uh, they can always be transferred to the annex since the students in the main are already in the annex. Uh, actually, uh, Mr. Chair, the uh, computation, if uh, the computation for the complete staff, one school head and at least seven uh, teachers, uh, we need the four million, four million for all the PS and other uh, benefits to be given by the teacher. And uh, I think uh, uh, initially the school has already been uh, given this amount through its mother school, which uh, when needed, no, will will have to be separated also through our DPM regional office, Mr. Chair. So with this uh, information, 
I fully uh, support the separation of uh, Balbalan Annex and to be called Eastern Balbala National High School. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Thank you, Ma'am uh, Dr. Stella. Doc Ma'am, just a basic just some basic questions. May principal na siya. Have you identified uh, a potential principal for this new uh, school? Uh, Mr. Chair, there's uh, there's a TIC, a teacher in charge, now who is also a potential school head if ever an item will be given for the said school, Mr. Chair. All right. So with this uh, law, it will now become a separate school complete with its own plantilla items. Tama po ba? Yes, Mr. Chair. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. And uh, we call on uh, Yusek Cabral to uh, uh, certify on the completeness of this uh, measure. Good afternoon, Mr. Chair, and to uh, uh, everyone present in this meeting. Uh, this is to confirm and to manifest that uh, all the requirements for the uh, separation of uh, Eastern Balbala National High School as an independent uh, secondary school is, uh, all are, uh, is complete and uh, we also in a manifestation made by our uh, regional director and considering all the data and information provided, therefore, we support the uh, this uh, uh, school as a separate and independent national high school. Thank you very much, Mr. Chair. Thank you, thank you, Sec. Medyo na distract lang ako dun sa likod ng ng uh, wall nyo para kayong nasa Chinatown. <laughs> Parang, uh, I think those are Chinese, uh, uh, I don't know kung Chinese yan or but I look like look you look like you're in Chinatown. And anyways, um any comments uh, regarding this measure from our source persons? Uh hearing none, uh we now approve uh House Bill number uh five eight six and Senate Bill number one six uh oh one. Uh, the committee is approving the two measures and submitting it to plenary for further uh, debates. So thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Kong uh, Allen, and of course to our uh, uh, district director from CAR and of course to Yusek Cabral. Thank you, Po. Now go to the next measure, uh, House Bill number... 9657 and let me just uh, read the title of this measure an act separating the roberta de Sous elementary school disciplina village elementary school extension in disciplina village barangay bignay valenzuela city metro manila from the roberta roberta de Sous elementary school converting it into an independent elementary school to be known as disciplina village elementary school and appropriating funds Therefore, so with that, we recognize uh, Congressman West Gachelian. But uh... <laughs> thank you, Mr. Chair, and uh, good afternoon to our DepEd family. Good afternoon to all my colleagues who are present this afternoon. Uh, Mr. Chair, basically, Disciplina Village is the award-winning and largest in-city resettlement uh, housing in Metro Manila. So when we designed uh, Disciplina Village, our intention was to make it uh, a complete uh, community for the uh, my constituents who are living inside Disciplina Village. So part of the design is basically to have uh, its own high school and to have its own elementary school. So uh, with uh, your assistance back in August 2018, uh, we were able to pass into law the Disciplina Village National High School uh, through Republic Act 11074. And uh, this time around, I would like to seek the uh, support of this committee to separate the uh, Disciplina Village Elementary School to its mother school, which is Roberta de Jesus uh, Elementary School. Uh, the Disciplina Village as a whole 
uh, is around uh, composed of around 4,000 families, making it the largest already in uh, Metro Manila. Uh, these families came from uh, the previously flooded areas and waterways of Valenzuela City. So uh, they are now moved inside this Pina village. And likewise, the elementary and high school has been operating already. So with this, I would like to request the support of uh, this committee as well as uh, uh, thank my colleagues who've supported this House Bill, House Bill 9657, and we hope for the immediate uh, approval of this measure. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Thank you, Kong. Actually, um, I remember when I was a mayor, this was only a small barangay, Barangay Bignay. But uh, since we uh, built our uh, housing project there, the Disciplina Housing Project, from a small barangay, now it became a medium-sized barangay. And uh, I remember before, it didn't have any high school. It was just elementary school. But now it has two uh, elementary schools and two high schools you know, because of the uh, housing project. And... Um, yeah, it's a good idea to separate them because uh, Disciplina Village itself is a self, um, it's, a, uh, it's, it, it's, a, um, it's an integrated community with um, uh, a lot of facilities servicing that integrated community. So I would like to ask Kong West, how many students are there in uh, this new uh, extension school, this, this new... Um, uh, Disciplina Village Elementary School? Well, uh, Mr. Chair, right now it has around uh, close to 500 uh, students studying in the uh, Disciplina Village Elementary School. How about high school? I, I, I don't have the updated figures anymore, but I just, I'm just wondering how many uh, high school students are there. Uh, uh, roughly, uh, Mr. Chair, it's around the same number. And it's quite a big school, and both this school are in close proximity to each other, so roughly the same number. And the local government provided the land, I would assume. Yes, the whole uh, discipline of village was uh, the property was provided by the local government unit, and then uh, DepEd uh, assisted also in building the school buildings, and likewise DPWH also. Uh, spent for the uh, covered courts that are being used right now. Thank you. Thank you, Kong. We now call on Dr. Rustica Lorenzo, the uh, OIC. Uh, tama ba? Okay. Okay. I was looking for the regional director, but I think it's also Yusek Cabral. Who's also the, uh, I guess you're a concurrent, no, Yusek, for yes. NCR and also as an undersecretary. So maybe call on Yusek Cabral to uh, certify the completeness of the documents, I guess, for both NCR and national level, because you're uh, acting one and the same. Yes, Your Honor, thank you very much. Uh, this office, the Ped National Capital Region, strongly support and uh, endorses House Bill number 9657 to recognize the establishment of a separate elementary school in Disciplina Village in Barangay Bignay, Valenzuela City. Uh, I, if I, you know, I, I was part of the establishment at that time in, back in 2015 uh, as a former superintendent of Valenzuela. And when we, uh, we transferred uh, some of those residents in the areas. Oh. Sorry po, Yusek. Well, just hanapin lang ho namin yung nag... Uh, ano, well, just... Yeah, go ahead. Sorry, Yusek. Go ahead. It's all right po. Uh, muted na po. Uh, anyway, uh, I think... Uh, it was that time uh, with the work of uh, Kong West, Mayor Rex, and of course, uh, Senator uh, Gatsalian, that time when we transferred about 5,000 families from the uh, disaster-prone area in Valenzuela when uh, this Disciplina Village was uh, established. And as mentioned by uh, 
Congressman West. It is the awarded uh, in terms of uh, no, in terms of its uh, ability to respond to such. And so, uh, as in my capacity as the regional director and uh, officer in charge of the Office of the Undersecretary for Human Resource and Organizational Development, uh, we support and endorse the same. And uh, this will give an opportunity for all the residents of Disciplina Village to avail the basic education, both uh, in the elementary and in the secondary. Thank you very much, uh, Your Honor. Magandang hapon po ulit. Thank you. Thank you. Second, thank you for your uh, uh, contribution you know, when you were uh, when when uh, you were still with Valenzuela as our superintendent. Uh, I I know that you know. The history of this area very well uh, one of our fastest growing barangays because of its uh, uh, housing project and thank you for your uh, invaluable contribution to make sure that our relocatees have the uh, school the necessary education support in the school that they can use for their um, uh, elementary and high school so with that uh, uh mr me... chair uh, sorry yes, go ahead with. Yeah, sir. Sorry, I misread my notes. Uh, apologies, but actually, as of today, the student population of the said school is around 2,500 students already. So it's fastly growing since the time it was opened back in 2018. Wow, 2,500. That's um, definitely a far cry. When we, when I became mayor in 2001, I think we only had. The whole st school only had less than 500 students. No? That's only one elementary for that barangay. So with that, uh, any comments, any reactions from our resource persons? Hearing none, the committee is approving H uh, House Bill number 9657 and submitting it to plenary for further debates. Thank so you, thank Mr. You, Chair. Thank you, thank you also to you, Sir Cabral. Thank you. So we now go to House Bill number 9659. And the title of this measure is An Act Separating the Celestino Tabuena Memorial National High School, Mercedes B. Peralta Senior High School Extension in Barangay uh, Huinlahon, West District, Sorsogon City, um, Province of Sorsogon, from Celestino G. Tabuena Memorial High School converting it into an independent senior high school to be known as the uh, Mercedes B. Peralta Senior High School and uh, appropriating funds, therefore. So with that, uh, we recognize um, Congressman, uh, Congresswoman Evie Escudero. Mr. Chair, and good afternoon to everyone. Uh, House Bill 9659 is a bill that seeks to separate the senior high school of Celestino Tabuena Memorial National High School and convert it into an independent senior high school to be known as Mercedes B. Peralta Senior High School. The establishment of an independent senior high school in the West District of Sorsogon City will cater not only to the students residing therein, but also to the nearby, nearby barangays. Moreover, Mr. Chair, Mercedes B. Peralta Senior High School is a kilometer away from the Celestino B. Tabena Memorial National High School. With these provisions, Mr. Chair, I wish that you can approve this particular bill. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Thank you, Tita Eva. And Tita Eva, this school is, uh, how old is this school already? More or less. More or less. As, as, uh, time pa to ng asawa ko eh. Oh. Tagal na ito. Tagal <laughs> time pala ni Tito Sani pa ito. Yes. Tagal na. And uh, um, this school is, um, uh, how big is the student population already? More or less lang po. Just... More or less, uh, it's about 409 uh, senior, senior high school students. 400. Mm. Na is okay. separate. Sorry. All right. Thank you, Tito Evi. We uh, call on... Uh, uh, Mr. Ronello Alfirmo, the OIC Assistant Regional uh, Director. Yes, Mr. Chair, good afternoon po. 
So the uh, DepEd Regional Office uh, Region 5 is interposing no objection po uh, to the conversion of uh, Mercedes B. Peralta Senior High School Extension into uh, a standalone uh, Mercedes B. Peralta Senior High School. Po. So we are interposing no objection po to the conversion of the school into a senior high school, a standalone senior high school. Mr. Chair. Thank, thank you, thank you, thank you, sir. And we call on uh, Yusuf Cabral uh, once again to uh, represent the DepEd National. This is to uh, confirm that uh, the submission of the requirements for the establishment of uh, Mercedes uh, Senior High School, uh, Biparata uh, Senior High School, uh, has been, uh, have been complied with. And we look forward that uh, this caters to uh, a specific uh, 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 traps and uh, to support, of course, uh, considering the distance from the from the junior high school, uh, there can be a uh, uh, strong collaboration as to uh, specialization from the junior and uh, senior high school and eventually looking forward that uh, all the graduates will have this uh, a chance for greater employability. We support and uh, manifest the completeness of the submission of those documents, Your Honor. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank, thank you, Yusek. Uh, any comments, reaction from the body? Mr. Chair, can I comment? This is Superintendent William Gando of DepEd's also. Yes, speaking. go ahead, sir. Go ahead. We just would like to express our deep appreciation and recognition of this effort of our dear Nanay Evi. This is indeed a great legacy for the future generation of Sosoganos. Thank you so much, Nanay Evi. Thank you, thank you, sir. Um, so with that, um, any more reactions or comments? So hearing none, we the committee is now approving House Bill number 9659 and submitting it to plenary for further debates and approval. So thank, thank you. you. Thank Mr. you, TTEB. Thank you. Thank you, Pop. Next on the list Next is House Bill number 9660. And the title of this measure, an act separating the Lydia D. Martinez Memorial High School, Sugod Senior High School Extension in Barangay Sugod, Bacon District, Sorsogon City, province of Sorsogon, from the Lilia D. Martinez Memorial High School, converting it into an independent senior high school to be known as the Sugod Senior High School and appropriating funds, therefore. So once again, we recognize uh, uh, Congresswoman Evie Escudero. Thank you again, Mr. Chair. House Bill number 9660. Uh, for this particular bill, Mr. Chair, uh, the Sugod Senior High School is a kilometer away again from its mother institution, the Lija D. Martinez Memorial High School and has already been issued with a school ID and uh, senior high school government permit. Thus, this bill seeks to separate the senior high school of Lija B. Martinez Memorial High School and convert it into an independent senior high school to be known as the Sugud Senior High School. With this, uh, Mr. Chair, I wish for its approval. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Thank you. Congresswoman, so we recognize um, Mr. Ronello Firmo, OIC Assistant uh, Regional Director, once again. Yes, Mr. Chair, good afternoon po. Uh, once again, the regional office uh, is interposing no objection to the uh, separation of the uh, Lidia Martinez Memorial High School uh, as a standalone uh, senior high school uh, with approved permit uh, from the regional office last 2017. Currently, the school is offering senior high school for academic and TVL tracks with uh, 209 students. So again, uh, we are interposing no objection for the uh, separation of the uh, uh, school as a standalone senior high school. Mr. Chair. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Firmo. Uh, before I recognize you, Cabral, once again, I, I... Uh, I uh, can see that uh, the superintendent is here. So may I recognize again Ms. Dr. William 
Gando, the superintendent of uh, Chorsogon City. Go ahead, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much. Again, we would like to express our deep gratitude to our dear Nana Evi for, for this another great legacy for the people of Sorsogon City. The, separa the separation of Ligia Martinez from Ligia Martinez Memorial High School of uh, Sugut Senior High School is indeed very, very necessary. Uh, one reason is there's no more buildable space for Ligia Martinez that can accommodate senior high school. So this is a milestone achievement that we uh, associate with the great leadership of Nana Evi and all the rest of those instrumental in authoring and sponsoring this bill. Thank you so much, Nana. Thank you. And lastly, let me uh, recognize Yusek Cabral for DepEd National. With the manifestation, uh, Mr. Chair of the Assistant Regional Director and SDS William Gando of uh, DepEd Sorsogon, the central office recognizes and yield to the capacity of the regional and uh, schools division to uh, in their capacity to approve and determine uh, the readiness of the establishment of a standalone in so good uh, source gone. and uh, we likewise support and manifest as to completeness of the documents submitted for the purpose thank you very much mr chair thank you thank you uh, suerte yung mga taga Sorsogon, nagsipag ng congresswoman natin. Dalawa-dalawa pa yung uh, pinapa-approve. Mr. Chair. I'm sure meron pa ito, Tita Evie, knowing you. But, uh, um, any comments from the body? Hearing none, once again, the committee approves House Bill number uh, 9660 and uh, We'll submit it to plenary for discussions and Thank debates. you, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Tita V. Regards to uh, Cheese, to Governor. We now move to uh, House Bill number 10184, uh, entitled An Act Separating the Arcelo Memorial High School, National High School, Liloan National High School, Annex in Barangay Poblacion, Municipality of Liloan, Province of Cebu, from the Arcelo Memorial National High School, converting it into an independent national high school to be known as Liloan National High School and appropriating funds, therefore. So we recognize the sponsoring uh, congressman, uh, Congressman Duke Frasco. Thank you, uh, Mr. Chair. Maying uh, hapon, good afternoon uh, to our chairman. Uh, Wen Kachalian, uh, to the Senate Committee on Education, members, uh, officials of the Department of Education, to uh, Senator Aime, uh, to my colleagues in Congress, Mr. Chair, I have the honor of sponsoring House Bill 3011, an act separating the Liloan National High School Poblacion Annex in Barangay Poblacion, Municipality of Liloan Province of Cebu, from the Arcelo Memorial National High School, converting it into an independent national high school to be known as Liloan National High School and appropriating funds, therefore. This bill, Mr. Chair, seeks to separate the Liloan National High School Poblacion Annex from its mother school in Barangay San Vicente, Municipality of Liloan Province of Cebu, and convert the annex school into an independent and distinct national high school to make it an implementing school with fiscal autonomy. It is the responsibility of the state to provide excellent education that is accessible to the society. The constitution mandates the state shall protect and promote the right of all citizens to quality education at all levels and shall take appropriate steps to make such education accessible to all. It is in this context that the separation of Loan National High School Annex from the Mother School, Arcelo Memorial National High School is needed. Furthermore, Mr. Chair, as an independent and distinct learning organization, the Liloan National High School would enable its administration to be more susceptible to the needs of its local students, as well as to enhance the delivery of basic education and boost the quality of education. Um, lastly, Mr. Chair, uh, if 
for more details, uh, if I may ask the chair recognize uh, the hardworking and if I may be allowed to say the very beautiful mayor of the municipality of Pilo and who happens to be my wife, uh, Mayor Christina Frasco, before I ask for the approval of this measure. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Let me just put on record, uh, Kong Duke, uh, my staff just flagged me. Uh, the original uh, uh, bill that you filed is 3011. Yeah, 3011. Oh, yes. House Bill 3011. Yeah, I think after uh, it was uh, deliberated um, in Congress, it was transmitted to us as House Bill number 10184. Yes, that's yes. correct, Mr. Chair. Yes. Let me just put that on record so that our uh, committee secretary will be on the same page. So with that, we recognize uh, Mayor uh, Christina Prasco, uh, who's here with us also. Afternoon, Mayor. Mayong hapon, Mr. Chair, to the uh, esteemed Senator Amy Marcos as well and uh, all the members, as well as the uh, sponsor of this bill, Congressman Duke Frasco. We wish to express our heartfelt gratitude to Congressman Duke Frasco, as well as to Senator Win Gachalian, Senator Amy Marcos, for the opportunity to expand the reach of educational institutions in Liloan. The separation of the Liloan National High School from Arcelo is long overdue, considering that the Liloan National High School is now one of the most populated schools in Liloan. Since our priority in Liloan is uh, education, and that is our number one priority, it is uh, my honor to beg the kind indulgence of this body to facilitate the approval of the independence of the Liloan National High School from Arcelo. And we fully support the bill filed by Congressman Duke Frasco to this effect. Should the chair wish to receive more details about the uh, statistics surrounding the high school, our team is with us today, including our district supervisor, as well as the principal of the Liloan National High School, Dr. Hippolyto Pigarido. Thank you. Thank you, uh, uh, Mayor Christina. I just have a few basic questions to um, Con Congressman Duke. Uh, I, I saw in the uh, title, it's in the Poblacion, so I would assume this is one of the one of the bigger schools in uh, Liloan, no? because typically I notice that uh, schools around the Poblacion or in the Poblacion are the bigger and the, the original schools. Eh? So mm -hmm. how big is the student population of this uh, new school? Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, currently, uh, Mr. Chair, we have uh, yeah. over 5,000 enrolled students. The exact number is actually 5,223. Uh, currently, also, we have a teaching force of about 136 teachers. So back when it was first annexed, there were only four teachers and 300 students. So over the past, uh, I guess, uh, over the past 20 years, no? So for 20 years, uh, it has grown that much. Um. This is a full high school, no? including junior high school and senior high school. Is that, is that correct? The, Liloan, the new Liloan National High School? Yes, I believe so, uh, Mr. Chair. All right. And then um, this, the, the, the um, original school, Arcelo Memorial High School, um, how big is that uh, school? Um, more or less, lang, more or less. I just want to get some uh, quick idea on uh, the size of these schools. 
I think, uh, I think more or less, Mr. Chair, it's about the same. Because uh, Poblacion and San Vicente, uh, Barangay San Vicente, are uh, similar in size and similar in population. All right. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Kong Duke. Uh, we Thank call you. on um, the regional director, uh, Dr. Uh, Salustiano Jimenez of uh, okay. Region 7. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, I would like to take this opportunity also to uh, greet everyone a pleasant day. Of course, to the sponsor of this bill, the 5th uh, uh, District uh, Representative, uh, Honorable Duke Frasco, and of course, uh, Mayor uh, Christina Frasco for really helping uh, DepEd and supporting DepEd. And uh, of course, uh, to everyone, once again, a pleasant afternoon. Now, uh, Liloan High School, uh, actually, uh, Mr. Chair, was established in 1995 yet, no? as an annex or extension of Arcelo Memorial National High School, with only four teachers providing and serving quality education to a more or less than 300 students officially enrolled during the time, the said year. But this time, for school year 2021-2022, it reaches 5,223, as what our uh, beloved uh, Congressman mentioned. No? So uh, since uh, this school is the only public high school in uh, located in uh, Poblacion area, because the, the mother school, which is the Arcelo Memorial National High School, is located outside the Poblacion. Now, uh, for, and, uh, for the regional office, this is to certify compliance per DPED order number 40 series of 2014 the separation of Liloa National High School from Arcelo Memorial National High School, seeing its need and importance, hence supporting Bill uh, 10184 and earnest approval is sought. Actually, we also submitted our position paper to this office for consideration. Thank you very much, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Thank you, RD. Thank you very much for that. And with that, let me call on Yusek Cabral once again for... Uh, uh, for uh, DepEd National. Mr. Chair, this is to confirm the submission and compliance of the submitted documents and uh, supporting and endorsing the House Bill uh, 10184 for the establishment of and separation of this school as an independent school, uh, knowing that uh, due diligence has been done by the regional office and the school's division as to uh, the recognition of the growing uh, school, we support and uh, endorse the same. Thank you very much, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Thank you, Yusek. Um, with that, any comments from the body? Any comments from our resource persons? With that, uh, the committee hereby approves House Bill number 10184 and um, uh, subsequently will submit it to plenary for discussion. So thank you. Thank you, uh, Congressman Duke and Mayor Christina. Thank you for your uh, attendance today. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Mr. Chair. So with that, um, we go on to the next item, which is uh, House Bill number 10186, entitled and not separating the Arena Blanco National High School in Tabon next in Barangay Tigtabon, Zamboanga City from the Arena Blanco National High School, converting it into an independent national high school to be known as Tigtabon National High School and appropriating funds therefore. So let me um, recognize my fellow JCI Senate um, uh, colleague, uh, Congressman Manix Delipe. Th thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Senator Wynn. Uh, good afternoon also to Senator Aimee. Uh, uh, for the interest of time, uh, as Congressman of the 2nd District of Sambuanga City, uh, may I ask that the, the explanatory note uh, be made uh, as the, my uh, sponsorship speech for the measure. Mr. Chairman, uh, Mr. Senator. Thank you. Thank you, Kong. 
just so a few basic questions lang kung uh, yeah. this new school, uh, how big is this new school? How I mean student population wise. Yeah, the new school uh, is has a population of 319 and it is uh, in Tikta, Barangay Tiktabon, which is an island. Right now, mm. if we did not establish that high school, these 300 plus students would ride a banka or a motorboat to go to a high school. So in order to, to give them that uh, access to basic education in line also with the mandate of uh, the government, we are providing now uh, an extension school in the island so that the 300 plus students will not have to cross uh, to the mainland and uh, to study uh, for their high school. So we would really want uh, an appeal to the good senator, uh, to the chair, and to the members of the Committee on Basic Education of the Senate for the immediate passage of this measure because it will really help our students, especially they have a problem uh, when the weather is bad, maalon po at uh, uh, medyo delikado sa mga estudyante kung tatawid pa sila sa mainland. So now, we have established an extension high school in the island itself. Uh, Mr. Chairman, Mr. Senator. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for that uh, description, uh, Kong. It, uh, we really need to uh, make sure that uh, our students, even in the islands, are reached by our education system. Uh, and that's the only way government will be felt. So I really commend your efforts in um, um, reaching out to our Kababayans in the islands. So with that, I recognize um, Regional Director Dr. Ruth Fuentes. Ma'am? Good afternoon. Uh, pleasant afternoon, uh, Honorable Senator uh, Sherwin Gatchalian, uh, Senator Aimee Marcos, uh, our representative, um, Manix Dalipe of, of Zamboanga City. With me is uh, our Assistant Regional Director also, uh, Dr. Pedro Melchor Natividad and the Superintendent of Zamboanga City, Dr. Roy Tobalia. Uh, for the information of, uh, of everyone, uh, Tigtabo National High School has uh, 16 teachers as of this time with uh, a 10 classroom with uh, an annual MOOE of, of 654,000. Uh, as mentioned by our honorable representative, uh, uh, access to this island school is quite uh, a challenge. That's why uh, we, uh, after reviewing all the documents, they have already uh, in the office of the regional office, they have already complied with all the necessary documents. So we highly uh, support the establishment of the school, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Thank you, uh, ma'am. We, we now recognize uh, Yusek Cabral. <laughs> Mr. Chair, uh, good afternoon once again. This is uh, to support the establishment uh, of uh, Tigtabon uh, National High School, considering that this is located in the geographically isolated area. And with a concurrence and certification from the Regional Director and Assistant Regional Director of Region 9, uh, we recommend for the approval of the house bid. Thank you very much, Mr. Chair, Sir Senator. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you. Uh, um, Yusek. With that, any comments pro from the body? Hearing none, uh, the committee is approving house bill number 10186 and submitting the same to the plenary. So we go on to the next one. This is House Bill number 10187, an act separating the Rena Blanco National High School, Mampang Annex in Barangay, Mampang, Zamboanga City, from the Rena Blanco National High School, converting it into an independent national high school to be known as Mampang National High School and appropriating funds, therefore. 
So with that, we call on once again Congressman Manix Delipe. Thank, thank you, uh, Your Honor, uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, Senator Win. Good afternoon once again to Senator Amy Marcos. So uh, also in the interest of time, as Congressman of the Second Congressional District of the City of Samuanga, may I would like to request that the explanatory note uh, be made as the sponsorship speech of the measure. Uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, Your Honor. Thank you. Thank you, Kongman. Uh, Next, we'll uh, uh, reflect your uh, explanatory note in our records. Um, with that, we call on Regional Director Fuentes again no, to manifest on the uh, uh, compliance. Dr. Ruth Fuentes, ma'am. You're, you're on mute, Ruth. I'm sorry about that. Mr. Chair, allow me to share with you some information about the operation of the, the school. Currently, it has 1,486 uh, uh, students um, with 24 teachers and 17 classrooms with budgetary requirements of um, uh, for teachers, about 20,269 uh, for classroom and some laboratories amounting to 60,000 with an annual MOE of 1,740,000. Um, approval for the separation will uh, mean more teachers and it will also cater or address the needs of more learners uh, in the vicinity. It will also provide uh, access and uh, access to quality education to the uh, community. So after review of the documents, uh, we hereby recommend and uh, support uh, the, the establishment of Mampang National High School with commendation to our honorable uh, uh, representative Manix Dalipe for, his, um, for, for the bill. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Dr. Fuentes, we recognize you, Sec. Cabral, again for uh, DepEd National. This is to concur the completeness and orderliness of the submission of the documents relative to the uh, approval of House Bill Number uh, One Zero One Eight Seven or the Mampang National High School, and uh, we uh, support the approval of the same. Thank you very much, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Yusek. So with that, the committee is hereby approving House Bill number 10187 and submitting the same to plenary. So thank you. Thank you, uh, Yusek Manix. Next is uh, House Bill number 10188 entitled An Act Separating Manikahan National High School Lamisahan Annex in Barangay Lamisahan, Zamboanga City from the Manikahan National High School, converting it into an independent national high school to be known as Lamisahan National High School and appropriating funds, therefore. Nakakakota ka na, Manix, ha? Dami mo na. Uh, we recognize uh, Congressman Manix uh, Delipe. Thank you. Thank you also, Senator Win Gachalian. With you there in the Senate, uh, the people of the Republic of the Philippines is very lucky to have you as our senator. So also, in the interest of uh, time, as congressman of the second district of Sambuanga City, may also request that the explanatory note of uh, the bill be made as the sponsorship speech. Mr. Senator re-elected Win Gatchalian. Thank you. Thank you, Manix. Papadala ka na dito ng... Uh ng uh, kuratsya dahil tatlong uh, bill na ito eh. Um, li, we recognize uh, Dr. Ruth Fuentes. Mr. Chair, um, proposed Lamisaha National High School for a separation has a current enrollment of 245 with a vast uh, area of 5,000 square meters with only six teachers. 
uh, currently uh, borrowed actually uh, teachers are from other locally funded um, there is an amounting to um, 17 million nine hundred fifty thousand seven hundred twenty-seven. after the review of the documents submitted and we found that the documents have fully complied with all the requirements for the establishment and separation of school uh, we support and recommend uh, the proposed made by the the proposal made by our honorable congressman manix delipe of the second district of zambuanga city mr chair thank you thank you thank you uh dr fuentes i can see mr. the hands chair. of dr uh, tobalia raised so dr tobalia you're recognized thank you very much for the chair senator marcos as well as as uh, you say, Cabral, our regional director, assistant regional director, and our working congressman, the representative of the second district of Simbonga City, uh, Congressman Manix Deliti. Indeed, Simbonga City's constitution is very thankful for Congressman uh, for initiating this measure. Uh, three measures in all, we have the establishment of a separation and establishment of Kiptabo National High School, Mampang National High School, and Misha House. This would boost our ongoing effort on increasing the access for Zambonga City for the secondary schools. So these are uh, things that we have identified in which Zambonga City is uh, somewhat lagging behind. So that is why this would really help our uh, learners gain access to secondary school education. And for these measures and for your support and the regional office and the kids support entirely we are very much thankful. And with me also is the uh, Chief of the Schools Governance Operations, Dr. Contorno um, and uh, Dr. Ann. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Dr. Uh, Tobalia. So with that, uh, we recognize uh, Yusek Cabral. Mr. Chair, uh, Yusek Cabral just stated that his uh, sound um, system is not working right now. Anyone from uh, DEPED National who wants to uh, uh, represent uh, Yusek Cabral? Sir, uh, I'm back. Oh, yeah, Nan, good. Well, uh, thank you very much. Sorry for that technical glitch. Uh, we maintain the same uh, support and uh, concurrence on the submission and on the, as the completeness on the establishment of uh, the school and we support the bill. Thank you very much, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Thank you, Yusek. Uh, with that, uh, the committee is endorsing House Bill number 10188 to plenary for further discussions and debates. So thank you, uh, Kong Manix. Thank, thank you very much, Senator uh, Winga Chalyan, the people, uh, the parents and students and teachers in the, those following national high schools to include in the entire city of Samwanga. We'll never forget you in, and also in the entire country because of your contribution to basic education. Mabuhay po kayo. Muchas gracias, Senator Winga Chalyan. Muchas gracias, Senator I'm Marcos, thank you also to RD Ruth Fuentes, to our ARD Pedro Melchor Natividad, to SDS uh, Roy Tubalya, and uh, to my uh, all, my my ever dearest deaf ed family. I love you all. Mahal namin po kayo, Senator Win. Thank you very much. Muchas gracias. Thank you, Manix. Huwag mo kalimutan yung uh, Koracha. Thank you, thank you. Uh, we now... Uh, um uh here house bill number 10189 uh the title and act separating libudon libudon uh, national high school shanghai extension in barangay shanghai mati city province of davao oriental from the libudon national high school converting it into an independent national high school to be known as Shanghai National High School and appropriate things funds therefore and uh, let me recognize my uh, most favorite congressman in the universe 
Hindi <laughs> ko talaga ito lang ang paborito kong congressman sa buong universe eh. Congressman Mayo Almario. Mr. 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 Chairman, good afternoon. Um, it takes one to know one, Mr. Chairman. So you're also my favorite senator and a very good friend. Anyway, thank you very much for considering my bill under your committee, Mr. Chair. Uh, House Bill number 10189 for the establishment of the Shanghai National High School in Davao Oriental. Mr. Chairman, Shanghai National High School is, a, is an annex as of the moment of Limbodon National High School. And the two schools are approximately 15 kilometers away uh, via rough road. No? And uh, Shanghai is a barangay considered a Gida, geographically isolated and disadvantaged area. And uh, further to Shanghai are sitios, uh, I would not want to say, but I have to admit, kind of influenced by the other side, quote unquote, Mr. Chairman. And we have a lot of uh, students owing to the population of Shanghai who cannot afford to go yet to the next barangay where the high school is. So that's why there is a, a an urgent need to establish a, its own high school at Shanghai to be called the Shanghai National High School so that the graduates of the elementary school can proceed to high school right at their own barangay. Um, may I also recognize, Mr. Chair, that the uh, our uh, schools division superintendent Ma'am Alona Oy is also here with us. Thank you Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Thank you uh, Kong uh, Mayo. Kong Mayo, just a quick question, just basic question. Uh, this is a far this school is quite far uh, from the from the uh, mother school, 15 kilometers you said? More, more or less, more or less. And uh, going, going through rough roads Mr. Chairman. Are these schools uh, mostly, um, uh, are, the, are the students in this, in this school in Shanghai mostly IPs, indigenous peoples? Meron din, meron din. It's a, it's a good mix of IP and uh, non-IP, Mr. Chair. Okay. And then, uh, the, were you the one who established this school, the Shanghai National High School? It's, it's supposed to be established yet if you approve it. Uh, it but it's an annex. Plastic. But it's it's annex. It's an annex already. It's operating. Yes, yes, through yeah. a department order of the through a department order. But were, was it your during your time? I know you're very active with uh, education and uh, this type of projects. Yes, Mr. Chair. Oh no, 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 no. Um, uh, it was established during the time of my predecessor, my mother, former Kaugusuman Selma Almari. Correct, correct. I know your family has been quite active in putting up uh, schools, especially in uh, far-flung areas, Gida, in and, the Gida areas. Yes, and we also believe in the saying, Mr. Chairman, Mayong Edukasyon para sa Mayong Kaugmao. Yan, yan ang gusto ko sa'yo eh. Yan, ang, uh, yan talaga, basta... Si Congressman Mayo eh, talagang uh, walang may iwanan. So, let me... Following the full step, Mr. Chair. <laughs> Thank you. Let me uh, call on... I think your superintendent is here, no? Dr. Alu Alona Uy, and she... Uh, yes. uh, she, she's here to, uh, to, to manifest uh, uh, her support. Dr. Uy? Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you so much, our Honorable Committee Chair, for giving me the time to actually express my heartfelt gratitude to Honorable Congressman Mario Zian Mario, and of course, to Honorable Win Gachalian and Honorable Aimee Marcos for sponsoring this bill. The whole Deped Monkey City will forever be grateful for this noble undertaking. Thank you so much, and as well as to R.D. Alan Parnazo of Region 11. Thank you so much. Thank you, ma'am. And with that, we recognize uh, R.D. Uh, Farnazo.
Mayong hapon, uh, Mr. Chair, mayong hapon, uh, Senator Wen, uh, Senator Aimi. Uh, maayong edukasyon para sa maayong kaugmaon. Speaking for House Bill 10189 or an act separating the Libunon National High School, Sanghai Extension, in Barangay Sanghai, Mati City, Province of Davao Oriental, from Libunon National High School, converting into an independent national high school to be known as Sanghai National High School and appropriating the funds thereof with the most honorable Joel Mayo Z. Almario as the principal author. Friends, ladies and gentlemen, for the record, may I share to you the written support and commitment of the school principal, Jury Sam Rojas. With the strong desire of the community of Shanghai to have a secondary school, the Barangay Council passed the resolution requesting for the establishment of a secondary school to be located at Barangay Shanghai, considering that the nearest high school, as mentioned already by Congressman Mayo Almayo, is around 15 kilometers away and complying with the requirements of the Department of Education, it has initially opened, opened grade 7 and 12 in school year 2019-2022 with then 88 students. Shanghai Elementary School readily offered two vacant rooms to be used as temporary classrooms. Then, Libuno National High School Shanghai Extension class is fortunate to have been supported in its initial establishment of the then Congresswoman Telma Almario, and now hoping that the committee will pass this in form of this legislated action. And with this uh, report from the school head, uh, through the chief of the Quality Assurance Division, Inilieto Atilio, may I therefore read to you his findings and in compliance with all the requirements set forth by the Department of Education, this regional officer interposes no objection to the above legislate, legislative measure as the establishment of Shanghai National High School will greatly serve the learner populace in the area, provide opportunities to better the lives of the population, specifically the young, establish a strong and solid support for the efforts of government ensuring protection of people's culture, aspiration, security, and peace and order with emphasis on that. In view thereof, this regional office certifies the completion of the requirements and provides full support for the passage of House Bill 10189. Thank you very much, Mr. Chair. And we would like to acknowledge and, sir, and pay our salute to the principal author, Congressman, Mayo and Almario. Maraming maraming salamat. Maayong edukasyon para sa maayong kaugmaon. Thank you, thank you. Talagang uh, magagaling talaga yung mga taga Davao Oriental. Huh? Maayong maayo talaga. Uh, let me uh, acknowledge uh, Yusek Cabral for uh, the PED uh, Central. Uh, yes, Mr. Chair, uh, this is to, con to confirm the submission and compliance of the requirements as in as much as this has been operating for quite a while. Uh, we concur and support uh, the House Bill uh, 10189 for the separation establishment of as an independent national high school, Shanghai National High School in Davao Oriental. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Thank you. Any comments from the body? Hearing none, uh, the committee hereby approves House Bill number 10189 and submit the same to the plenary. So thank you. Thank you, Kong uh, Mayo, and thank you to uh, the Davao Oriental uh, DepEd family. Talagang magagaling po kayo. Basta andyan si Kong Mayo, eh, siguradong alagang-alaga ho kayo. Magaling mag-alaga ho yan. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Chairman, thank you. I'm, I'm sure with your support, win na win ang Davao Oriental, win na win ang education. Salamat, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Mayo. See you soon. So, <laughs> labas na lang tayo mag-usap. Baka nung po masabi mo. 
<laughs> Thank you. Now we uh next on the list is House Bill number 10278 and accepting the Malinao High School uh Pinamulaan Annex in Barangay Pinamulaan Municipality of Banisilan Province of Cotabato from the Malinao High School, converting it into an independent national high school to be known as Pinamulaan National High School and appropriating funds, therefore. So we recognize the uh, uh, sponsoring congressman, Congressman Pingping Tejada. Uh, thank you very much. Good afternoon to everyone, most especially the chair and Senator Owen and uh, Senator Amy Marcos. Uh, House Bill uh, number uh, 10278, uh, I would like that the help uh, by the explanatory note be my sponsorship speech in tight and uh, for the, uh, on the, on the sponsorship of the House Bill, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Kong. Uh, we recognize um, the uh, regional director, um, regional director Carlito Rocafort, sir. Uh, yes. Uh, good afternoon, uh, Your Honor, Mr. Chair, and uh, a pleasant afternoon, everyone. Uh, uh, as the data coming from uh, Pinamulaan uh, High School in uh, Malinao, Banisilan, as of now, we have an enrollment of uh, 188 with seven teachers. And uh, the distance from uh, Malinao National High School from main school is uh, 23 kilometers. And uh, the distance from uh, population is 17 kilometers. That's why there is really a need for the uh, establishment and uh, separation of this uh, school. So it is also adjacent to uh, Lanao del Sur. So because of the uh, mantra here in uh, DepEd Soxanjan region that uh, we have here dapat kasali lahat, kasama lahat at para sa lahat, this office uh, interposes no objection to such measure filed by, uh, by the uh, Honorable uh, Congressman Jose Pingping Pihada and that is the uh, uh, House Bill number 10278 the uh, convert uh, the separation of the uh, Malinao High School Pinamulaan Annex and converting it to to be known as Pinamulaan National High School. Uh, so this office uh, uh, check all the necessary documents and all the uh, requirements and uh, documents are uh, submitted in this uh, office. So we interpose no objection, uh, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. And we call on Jose Cabral for DepEd Central. Uh, having been uh, uh, able to uh, certify that uh, the submission uh, of the documents needed for the establishment are compliant with the existing department order, and considering the location of the proposed school as a, as a result of separation and uh, establishing an independent school in, uh, for an area, which is uh, actually, uh, as mentioned, uh, more than 20 kilometers away from its mother school, uh, DepEd uh, yield to the regional director's uh, support and concurrence and uh, we certify as to compliance and support the same for uh, approval. Thank you very much, Mr. Chair. Thank you, thank you, Yusek. Uh, any co any comments from the resource person? Hearing none, the committee hereby approves one zero two House Bill number one zero two seven eight and submit the same to plenary. Thank you, Kong uh, Tejada. All right, so next on the list will be House Bill number 9658, entitled An Act Converting the Pinaglabanan, National, Pinaglabanan High School 
in Barangay Pinaglabanan Municipality of Goa, Province of Camarines Sur into a national high school to be known as Pinaglabanan National High School and appropriating funds therefore. And let me uh, acknowledge uh, the sponsoring congressman. This is the uh, the uh, more handsome congressman compared to the USEC, uh, Congressman Arnie Fentebelia. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Good afternoon to the most handsome Gatsalyan among the siblings. Um, the Pinaglabanan High School was uh, became an independent secondary school since 2006. It is situated at the foot of Mount Pisarog, catering to six other barangays, including Pinaglabanan, Balainan, Digbigon, Barangay Aroro, San Isidro West, and Pinamihagan. It is five kilometers away from the town proper and 4.5 kilometers away from PSU. And just for expediency, Mr. Chair, I move to adapt my uh, explanatory note to be my sponsorship speech, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Kong Arni. We are uh, inserting your sponsorship speech into the records, so that will be reflected uh, um, uh, on the deliberation of this measure. Uh, just as a clarificatory um, issue, uh, I, I received a letter from uh, Congressman Roman Romulo, our counterpart, my counterpart in the uh, House, that uh, this bill, instead of a conversion, it will be uh, converted into a renaming uh, instead. Um, can you clarify uh, to us um, what is the pleasure of um, uh, of uh, the the house and what is the um, uh, proposal so that uh, we can reflect this uh, uh, in our deliberations actually mr chair there's no renaming we just name it as a pinaglabanan national high school it's converting the pinaglabanan high school in barangay pinaglabanan municipality of goa province of Camarines sur into a national high school to be known as Pinaglabanan National High School. Uh, Kong Arni, I was uh, conferring with our uh, basic education staff here. Apparently, the action or the proposal is to con is to rename uh, Pinaglabanan High School to Pinaglabanan National High School. Yes. However, the bill that was filed in the House is a bill to convert. Uh, hence, the title is an act converting the Pinaglabanan High School uh, into uh, Pinaglabanan National High School. So, yes. in, in other words, there is no conversion, so to speak, but there is uh, a renaming that will happen. So, uh, in other words, uh, the school is already existing. Yes. Uh, the school will not be transformed or converted into a science school or other form of school. It will just be simply renamed into Pinaglabanan National High School. Is that the intention, uh, Kong Arnie? Yes, Mr. Chair. So with that uh, answer, we will uh, amend the bill here in the Senate to reflect the uh, wishes of the sponsor to just simply rename. 
from Pinaglabanan High School to Pinaglabanan National High School. National High School. Yes. National High School. Yes. Okay. With that, uh, uh, we'll reflect that into the records and we will make the appropriate uh, uh, amendment uh, during the technical working group. So with that, uh, let me call on um, Regional Director, oh, sorry, OIC Assistant Regional Director, Mr. Firmo. And you can also, um, uh, Dr. Uh, Mr. Firmo, you can also uh, manifest the, uh, the uh, intention of the bill if um, during our conversation earlier it was uh, uh, reflected in our conversation that uh, a simple renaming will be the end goal of this measure. Good afternoon once again, uh, Mr. Chair, and to our uh, Honorable Arnie Fentebella. Uh, Mr. Chair, uh, it was discussed during the hearing uh, in the House of Representatives that instead of conversion, it will just be a renaming of the school considering that the school is already existing uh, since 2006. So anyway, they are already included in the uh, General Appropriations Act. It has its own budget. It has its own uh, plantilla. Therefore, uh, it was suggested during the hearing in the House of Representatives that uh, the bill uh, will be changed from conversion to renaming of the school from Pinaglabanan Nas High School to Pinaglabanan National High School, Mr. Chair. And we are not, uh, we are not imposing, uh, interposing any objection to the uh, renaming of the school from Pinaglabanan National High School to Pinaglabanan National High School. Thank you. Thank you, um, Dr. Uh, Firmo. Uh, let me call on Yusek Cabral on this same point. Yes, Mr. Chair, good afternoon po, and to, even to the sponsor and uh, Honorable Pantivelia uh, and the rest of all the present here today. This is to confirm that uh, the subject school under the jurisdiction of the school's division of Kamsur has fully satisfied uh, the requirements under the Ped order number 40, particularly on naming and renaming of the existing schools. And we support uh, such measure, Mr. Chair. Thank you very much. With that, thank you very much, uh, Yusek. Uh, any comments uh, from our resource persons? Hearing none. Uh, committee is approving House Bill number 9658 and submitting the uh, same law or same proposal to plenary for debates. So thank you, Yusek. Ar yes, thank you, uh, Kong Arni and Yusek. Thank you, Chair. Thank you. Thank you. Last on the list is House Bill number 10279, an act converting the San Lazaro Elementary School in Barangay, Bibincahan, Sorsogon City, Province of Sorsogon into, in, into an integrated school to be known as San Lorenzo Integrated National High School, appropriating funds therefore. So we recognize once again, uh, Congresswoman Evie Escudero. Thank you again and good afternoon, Mr. Chair. Uh, House Bill number 10279 is a conversion of the San Lorenzo Elementary School to uh, into an integrated school to be known as the San Lorenzo Integrated National High School. The conversion of this particular elementary school into an integrated high school, integrated school, would ensure that the children of Barangay Bibigkahan and the neighboring barangays would have due and proper access to full basic education from elementary to secondary schools, uh, secondary education. In 2015 census, Barangay Bibingkahan was recorded to have a population of 15,738 or 30% of which are aged 14 and below. Its population is projected to grow from, uh, from this to 
18,693 in the year 2021. And the entire city of Sorsogon would have 199,675. This growing population of the community and the limited resources of the locality and the duty of the state to establish, maintain, and support an accessible, complete, adequate, and integrated system of education necessitates the conversion of this San Lorenzo Elementary School into an integrated school. So with this, Mr. Chair, I would like to have this as approved as, as a conversion. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Thank you, um, Congresswoman uh, Evie. Uh, we call on, uh, once again, no, Mr. Uh, Firmo for uh, the certification on completeness. Good afternoon, once again, uh, Mr. Chair. So the uh, San Lorenzo Elementary School, uh, uh, the integration of the school was approved by the regional office through government permit number J-018 in 2019. Uh, the school has an enrollment of 532. Uh, with this, uh, considering that they, uh, they were able to comply with all the requirements under DepEd Order Number 40, DepEd Region 5 is fully supporting uh, the approval of House Bill Number 10279, sponsored by our uh, uh, Honorable uh, Congresswoman uh, Ibelina G. Uh, Scuder. So uh, we are fully supporting the conversion of the school to an integrated school. Mr. Thank Chair. you. Thank you, Mr. Uh, Firmo. Uh, we recognize you, Sir Cabral. Mr. Chair, this is to confirm the substantial compliance of the school for the conversion into an integrated school, and uh, we support uh, the bill of uh, converting the school into an integrated one, given that the curriculum for the K-12 is already existing and uh, having been also complied with all the requirements uh, for such. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Uh, any comments from the body? Hearing none, uh, the committee hereby approves House Bill number 10279 and submit the same to plenary for dispute, uh, uh, debate and approval. So thank you very much, so much uh, uh, Evie. And um, that's it actually for today. And uh, so once again, I would like to thank uh, Yusek Cabral the entire DepEd family from Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao for joining us today uh, in this very uh, important, uh, simple but important uh, hearing of uh, converting schools and uh, separating schools. Um, these are measures that are simple in action but very important to our constituents on the grassroots because they're the ones directly feeling uh, the uh, actions of Congress. So once again, thank you very much for your time and participation. This uh, hearing Fair. is this hearing is hereby um, adjourned. Thank you.